Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. Cup of tea. Right, okay, so I'm a bit shocked today. It's been a long time since we made the tournament in Sofia, in Bulgaria. Now, if you're following the channel, check out Fast Forward Reviews, the tournament, and then you'll see everything I really want to put out there about the tournament. And since then, Ian Summerhalder popped up on the channel, signing the poster. I seen Craig Conway recently, but didn't have the poster because it was a random encounter. And, you know, there's a couple of the £20 notes from the explosion knocking around the house and stuff like that. There's a couple of call sheets. That's the original poster, original artwork. I've done a cover to cover video talking about the artworks and covers and stuff like that. At this moment, right now, as I just literally walked right off camera. Hello! Um, I've unfortunately been challenged with the task of clearing out my grand's house and she'd been in the house for 55 years and rented. It's like, wow. Anyway, nothing to do with that, but I've had the task of emptying the house, sorting the house and sort of, you know, putting everything in place. And like, honestly, there's so much stuff goes into that. Just about as much stuff that goes into making a film. You know what I mean? You've got to really plan your day, schedule your day. And I've literally spent my day today doing the loft could have been flexing this floorboard that I'm walking on right now, speaking. Made the loft, finished the loft, been burning stuff, sorting stuff, washing clothes, getting ready for just putting stuff on vintage and stuff like that. This fucking floorboard. Anyway, I'm only standing here because of the poster. So, I went, what the fuck? Now, first off, I found a cast photo, a black and white one, and a coloured one. It feels like it was, oh, there's two, two black and white ones, wow. So, there's been one of them knocking around for a while. Sorry, jump cut. That's the original one. I've just done another video for uh, um, Steven Seagal and finding a bit of paper. See, I can find paper like that. I was like, oh yeah. Could I, fuck, find the uh, Kodak? Wow. Anyway, so yeah, this cast photo knocking around. So, them ones are perfectly preserved. Or whatever. Anyway. So, here's a story for you about the time. Now check out the Chris story, uh, Chris story, Chris Jericho baboonery story about the tournament. That should still be on YouTube. And this is a new story because this is quite fresh. <laughs> because I was sorting through all this stuff and I found this. <laughs> now what you ask is that? That's Tamiga, who in the movie plays Mary Harlow, who is the wife of Vin Rames' character, Joshua. Um, so basically, this is a uh, screen used prop. Um, from the, the tournament. Now, how do I have that? Totally forgot even there. Now, Tamika is an amazing woman, right? She was seen singing in a bar um, because in Sofia, you kind of went to the certain city clubs and stuff like that. You would only really get to go out Friday night, maybe Saturday. Do you know what I mean? There was the bar, uh, the bar at the hotel and stuff like that. That was pretty much the place to be. There was always some kind of crazy party in someone's room or whatever. But the Saturdays would be the bar night. So Tamika was spotted uh, on scouting locations before I even got to Sophia. And she was cast because they wanted to cast somebody you would really feel that Joshua loved and cared and cherished. And she, God, she was beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. She even sang at the rap party. An amazing freestyle voice. The tournament's the only thing she's ever did. She was based in Sofia. She was from America. I was in contact with her for a while. There's a picture of me somewhere where I'm probably like, just happy to be where, you know what I mean? I spent we had some good times. I'll tell you how that happened in a bit, right? Okay, so part of my job changed from day to day. And you know, you get phone call here, you get this routine going there, you would see what's going on here, you're doing the making of, you're doing some errands, you're running around getting some coffees, you're just doing what needs to be done to get the film going. It's like, he doesn't want his Sunday lunch on his truck and it's just like, what do you want me to do about it? I'll get rid of that stray dog, you know, not in that sense, but you know, you got a stray, like, it's been a couple of videos before the stray dog running around with body parts, you know, chewing on rubber and stuff like that. We'll get, I love Bulgaria, but it was so hot. Anyway. And one of the first things they filmed in the movie was the hotel room where you got Kelly Hu and Craig Conway, the bellboy, fighting and stuff like that. You've got Zarko and Kim and the stunt guys involved. And it's a small room set built in this massive like airport hangar, you know, and like the sun's coming down, double loads. You know, it's like a box inside of a box. And, you know, they've got it going around. They've got it really well done hotel room, you know, throwing people's heads into the tellies and chopping people's fingers off and stuff. So, 
I got a few phone calls from a hotel. And again, you've got actors coming in, you've got hotels going that way, if people need to ring, you've got to do this kind of stuff. And I heard this guy say, I want me door. And I was like, I have no idea what you're talking about. So I remember that. Cool. Hmm. So one day, um, I got called to do an errand. So this is my job for the day. Now, the stuff with Tamika was filmed by second unit. Probably with Mark. I know Scott was filming and other stuff. Again, you're all over Sophia and stuff like that in different locations. But they're normally set down. So you would fit Tamika stuff in one day. Just reaction shots, dishes, eyes open on the floor, eerie, eerie shit. Um, you know, like stuff that you can flash back and subliminal flashbacks of trauma. And they did all that. And what they needed was um, some pickup shots. So Mark uh, basically said to me, you need to come here with this folder and we need some surveillance pictures. And I'm like, right, okay. So I got a driver. And Mark gives us this camera, you know, Mark's own personal camera. And like, you know what I mean? I don't want to be dropping this thing or like I'd pretty much be working for free. Um, anyway, so again, the drivers, Sophia drove us around. So we get to the uh, American Embassy and I'm right there when I'm meant to be. And I'm like, okay. Now, mobile phones, you have the set, you have your own mobile phone, but you have the set phones. British Embassy, God. I'm like, all right. So anyway, I talked to the driver and he was like, this is where I'm meant to be, you know, I don't care. So I walk up the door, guy was like, have you an appointment? I went, well, I'm kind of here to meet somebody, to stalk them and some, and I just realized when I was saying this to the armed guard, so I was myself a bit, so I went, oh shit. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I walked away, round Mark, is this where I'm meant to be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At no point did anyone tell me that Tamika worked in the embassy. It was like, all right, am I just meeting her here because there's a park right next to the embassy. I see park, I'm told to go to the park. I don't like... So anyway, Tamika popped her head out and went, hi, hi, you all right? I went, ah, yes, fine. So we walked down this park and I remember that on the bench and you've got to like, you know, you know, the guy creeping around, it just must have looked fucking weird for anybody who's seen this, like, ch -ch 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 -ch. now I made sure the driver came with us. Because you're walking around like these, I don't even know where the fuck we're going. Anyway, they're like, the the seat, the stills were meant to be her like reading on a park bench and stuff like that, like proper obscure, doing the whole, ch -ch -ch -ch, you know, all the films you've seen where someone's like creeping around and like, you know, there's that. Then, you know, say goodbye to Mika. And again, I had a great night when I seen her at the, the staff do. That was good. She was a really, really nice girl. And, um, sidetracked. <laughs> From there, I had to get in the van. Go back to the van and go and get some prints. So I went and got some prints, what they needed, and then I went to meet Mark at this hotel they were filming in. So they were filming the whole, you know, again, pick up shots, passing their hands, file, up close, file, you know, like, file passes forward. So yeah, came in with the photos, you know, they went, you know, 50 fucking photos, you know, all printed. You know, let's say like, poof, <laughs> walked into the hotel, went, all right, I need to be at such and such, such and such. All right, go upstairs. And I walked up and I walked in. I went, hello. And I went, all right, okay. I see what the problem is here. So they had borrowed the hotel door weeks ago and this hotel room still had no door on. So like the door I was looking at, but later on that day when I got back to set, I went, that door's just lying there against the wall. I was just like, what's the crack with the door? But obviously they needed it for the pico shots. They still were still doing stuff like that. And I was like, this hotel really wants their fucking door back. And again, walked in there, gave Mark stuff. We would have took the pictures. He would have handed them all back to me. And again, I would have brought it back to the hotel room. And that has been perfectly preserved. And it's just the one, again, with the sheet. Some coffee weed stain on that double punching craziness going on there but yeah happy to find that so I'm gonna actually frame that and keep that because again there's not a lot it's not going in there like there you go <laughs> just there yeah the tournament um yeah as I said I had some great times and stuff like that but that was just quite a funny story you know I had a great night at the, at the party she was just absolutely phenomenal and absolutely stunning as well so yeah if you haven't seen the tournament yet get it watched but yeah see you in the outtakes I 
understand what much of the outtakes, but did you know Scott Michael Callaghan's voice appears in the tournament? It's there. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. You still here? Found a frame. Yeah, uh, sort me <coughs> loft out. That's why I have so much dust in my throat. And yeah, okay, so no effort to go, but at least it's perfectly preserved now. So yeah, that's awesome. Fine, awesome, fine. So